Uh, Salvi Ross joins us now, coordinator for the humanitarian uh, movement Doctors of the World in the Occupied Palestinian Territories. Um, Salvi, thank you for joining us here on BBC News. Just tell us a little bit more about the, the practical issues that, that doctors and, and medics are coming up against in Gaza at the moment. Okay, uh, good morning. Yes, uh, the, basically the situation in the health system and the uh, humanitarian workers is uh, is very, very hard. As your colleague was explaining, uh, there is a huge lack of uh, almost everything, especially uh, medical supplies, but uh, more important of, of everything now is the lack of fuel to uh, make uh, to, to produce the electricity. Uh, the hospitals are being uh, threatened. Some uh, have been uh, damaged uh, by the bombardment. Uh, now, uh, like 35% of the hospitals are out of order. 74% of the primary healthcare clinics are also out of are not functional. Um, so it's very it's being very hard to, to work. And as your your colleague uh, Rajdi. Uh, the health uh, workers are not only working, but they are also uh, victims of this uh, situation. They are also running away from the bombardments. They are also taking care of uh, the families. So it's uh, it's being very very hard to to work. Uh, hospitals are uh, basically uh, trying to save uh, lives, and even uh, trying to uh, maintain connected the the incubators for the 130. Uh, newborn child. So those are all lives that are at, at risk. Uh, the dialysis patients are also uh, facing a life risk. And uh, moreover, uh, we are seeing an increase on uh, water-related uh, disease uh, due to the lack of electricity again. Uh, there's a lot of uh, sewage water being uh, pumped out. Uh, it's like 120 cubic meters uh, per day right now. So uh, we're uh, facing a huge crisis of, uh, of water-related uh, disease. It is in front of us, it's starting, and it's going to get, uh, it's going to get uh, worse. And uh, the, the humanitarian aid that uh, we are receiving is, is uh, of course, uh, not enough. Uh, we need to think that um, uh, what we had in Gaza before this escalation, it was a protracted, a protract, protracted crisis, uh, where uh, almost 500 trucks were entering every day with uh, humanitarian aid. And now uh, they are saying that they are going to increase to 50 or 100, depends on the source. So this is still uh, 10, 20 percent. So we're talking about uh, not not even re not even reaching the 100 that uh, we are demanding. Uh, that would be the minimum to survive. And also, Salvi, we heard earlier from the, the Israel Defense Forces, they say that Hamas are using buildings like hospitals and, and the patients and staff within them as human shields. We know that uh, in some cases, the Palestinian Red Crescent, for example, says that uh, Israel asked for the Al-Quds Hospital to be evacuated, which they said just wasn't possible. I mean, talk us through how you would begin to evacuate uh, patients and, and civilians from a hospital like that. Can it be done? No, no, it, it, uh, it's impossible right now. Uh, first of all, the, the, all the patients that are connected to less life saving machines, we, we don't have uh, right now uh, ambulances uh, to move uh, these people because ambulances have been uh, targeted. Uh, many are down. Uh, also, uh, the lack of fuel again. Uh, so it's impossible, and the lack of electricity for uh, to to move uh, all these uh, machines with the people connected. So, and I mean this this would be highly highly uh, not recommended. Uh, what is needed is to protect those uh, facilities, as it is stated under international humanitarian law. There is no way to move all these people, and also you cannot move uh, fourteen thousand people that are taking shelter there. Uh, even more if you are not uh, creating safe corridors. I mean, you are asking people to go out of the hospital, to run to the south, 
uh, while you keep bombing those uh, routes. So mm, no, people is not going to move. You cannot force them. You don't have enough staff to oblige uh, 14,000 people to move. That's why they are keep on uh, bombing around the hospital. Uh, so uh, to scare people and to force them to, to move up, people is not responding. They want to be the hospital is the safest place they have, even uh, all the threats that uh, the hospital is uh, receiving. Uh, Salvi, thank you for joining us. Salvi Ross, uh, live in Jerusalem there for the, uh, from the humanitarian movement Doctors of the World. Much more to come from here, live in southern Israel. For now, though, let's head back to Samantha in London. Anna, thanks.